Back deep, Martavis Bryant and Jerron Brown. Normally, Sammy Watkins would be one of those guys back there as a kick returner suspended for the first two games of the year. We'll talk more about that as we go. It'll be interesting to see right away how Auburn approaches kickoffs with it being moved up to the 35-yard line. Cody Parkey, last year, 66 kickoffs, 38 of them for touchbacks into the end zone. That was second in the country. So will they try to hit some sky kicks and make them run it back? Well, they just knock it out of there and put it at the 25, the new rule this year. The kick from the 35, we're underway. The Chick-fil-A kickoff classic, and it is deep, and it's all the way to the back of the end zone where Martavis Bryant will take a knee. Offensive weapons. Clemson had a 3,000-yard passer, 1,000-yard receiver, and this guy a 1,000-yard rusher, and he gets the second carry, follows his blockers beautifully, and he's out a yard shy of the first down. And then, of course, Taj Boyd is the guy who makes it all happen. Third down and one on the opening series for Clemson. And on the carry, it's going to be good enough for a first down to Ellington. Made it by about a foot. That's on the offensive line for Clemson. It's up to that Auburn defensive front. Whoops, and the pistol set a misfire. And Taj Boyd has to cover it at the 29. The snap looked to be a little wide situations, but not normally on third down and 16. Boys is going to roll. Todd's look out from behind, and down he goes for the second time, and it's D Ford again. So a huge loss again on the play this time. Kirk in the tight end gets in a slot right. First third down of the game for Auburn. Frazier wanted to throw a screen pass, and it's incomplete intended for Mason. So both teams a little shake down, a little more manageable. Here comes the pressure again. Boyd fires, and he's got his man, and it's Hopkins. First down, Clemson. Looking at that Clemson offense, it just keeps coming at you without a huddle. Boyd fires complete. And Hopkins slips, but he goes down with a first down at the fourth. College game since I've come back. They do a lot of different things. This time they run it off the left side successfully. And it's Howard for a first down. Tough run. Pick up the start tonight. Showed good mobility on that play. Dodge Boyd, play action, fires complete. It's Hopkins inside the 15, the 10, and slips. But he'll have it first and goal. Would have been a touchdown if he could have kept his foot. For a guy like this, makes him that much more dangerous. And he will throw. Maybe. He's going to run. Boyd to the one. That's all, though. Whitehead and Davis make the stop to try to open the scoring here at the Georgia Dome tonight. And a kick is good. So Clemson a little disappointed. They got his trickeration now. We got linemen flanked out. Three out in front of Michaela, who's got the sideline and a first down. Knocked out in front of the Clemson bench as we take a look. Play action. Frazier sets up, and he's going to air it long, and he's got a man wide. Cody Parkey in for the point after. And just like that, the other Tigers from the plane at its own 25-yard line, trailing for the first time tonight. Taj Boyd's going to flip it out, and it's his tight end, and this time he holds on, and Brandon Ford might have. And receiving came after the catch. There's a little dipsy <laughs> dude, Andre Ellington, <laughs> as Taj Boyd was... Pretending to look to the sideline of the coaches and the direct snap goes to number 23. Now, we hadn't seen that one before. Auburn loading up on the front line, and Todd is going to try to do it himself, and he's got it. Out to the 47-yard line and a first down. Down at 12. Stout, and they're going to blitz him right away, but they're going to try to run Ellington right by the blitz, and he does, and he's still on his feet. Wow. Wow. Put his hand on the turf and somehow passed. Clemson got as close as the one-yard line and had to settle for a field goal. Boyd again, pressured in the pocket. Todd takes off, looking for the first down marker, and he got it again. And the ball is out. And Auburn's got it. And I think Todd's lost his helmet again. He did, and the ball, more importantly, was lost as well. Gabe Wright came up with a fumble recovery. Right. 22, you're Chad Morris, and you're saying, hey, I want my quarterback to run the ball more. But all through August, your starting quarterback does not get... After further review, the runner was down. 
on your psyche a little bit when you're throwing the football. Now he's got a third down at 13, and here comes a blitz, and down goes Boyd. And I mean went down in a hurry as Darren Bates just flattened him. Their offense in the eye with Prosh, the fullback, leading the way. And there goes Mason again. This time he might be gone. Going to get run down at the 40. Jonathan Meeks again. Trey Mason, he cut back to the inside. Todd, he might have taken it to the house. Here's McCaleb now, uh, inside sweep. Now Terry McCaleb out to the 46-yard line. Here he was at Temple, and Temple was seventh in the nation in running the football. And the ball is out this time. Who's going to get it? Clemson might have this one. And they do. Jonathan Willard, I think, set the bottom of the pile. Josh Watson might have been the guy. Dodge Boyd going to throw it out in the flats to Sharon Peak with a head of steam. And he got about five out of that play. Oh, and play second down and five. So the Tigers in Auburn territory with a quick throw, and it's a first down throw. Brandon Ford, the tight end, after dropping the first one. Defensive back, so he plays very well out in space. Third down and eight for Clemson. Boyd throws again to his tight end, and he's got another first down. Well, all of a sudden, Brandon Ford is only three yards. Boyd wants to throw for it. Oh, and drop, just blatantly dropped by his favorite target so far. The junior out of Greenville, South Carolina, just up the road from Clemson, right down Peachtree Street here in Atlanta. At the 10-minute mark, 40 yards to read coverage. The snap has to be picked up, and now he's going to load it down for Blake on the sideline, and it's going to be intercepted by Clemson. Picked off by Rashad Hall. You know what, though? Not a bad interception. It's like a punt. It's just like a punt for Kyle Frazier. I mean, Clemson takes over on the 10 yards. Hours here, two hours there. A little bit of an opening for Andre Ellington, and again, he keeps his footing by putting his hand on the ground. It's his wheels on the ground. Got blockers in front. Ellington at the 30, down the sideline, all the way to the 15-yard line. What a run. And turns it into a big play. And the personal five, the late hit, half the distance to the goal. First and goal, Clemson. They keep it on the ground with Roderick McDowell. Touchdown. The third tailback in the line. Extra point is good. Seven twelve sides. You end up with an eye backfield on a third down and a yard. And mccaleb has got it and plenty more. Picks up five. Coverage of Mesa. This moves the starter who's been suspended. Third down and five. High snap. Frazier handles it and fires it. Complete. Quan Bray. And now he is involved as a wide Blake in motion. Frazier fires deep. Lutzen Kirkin down inside the 15-yard line. Finally, we see number 11th play of the Auburn drive. Frazier is going to flare it out to McCaleb. He's hit immediately. Breland from the secondary and a loss of five. And Parkey, the junior out of Jupiter, Florida. Knocks it through to make it a three-point game. I think that strategy by Gene Chist. The remainder of this half. Todd Boyd to throw. Wide open. This guy's nifty. Adam Humphreys. And Humphreys has got a first down. On field. They've been throwing a lot of short stuff and hoping the yards after catch will help him. That one's a little bit farther downfield. It's a first down throw. The 41 yard. They might have taken themselves out of field goal range with that last sack. Todd Boyd on the run. Lemonier chasing. Todd's is going to keep it, get what he can, and get out of bounds at the 37th from 55 yards. Snap a little high. Kick is going to go left. And no good. Worth the try, though. Yep. Third and nine. 
Emory Blake hasn't been involved in a while. Frazier throws, completes. Emory Blake at the 40 for the 35 yard line. First down. Good poise by Kyle Frazier. High field goal on a second down of seven at the 32 yard line. Here's a pitch that Caleb on a corner. Inside the 30. Looks like he's going to pick up the first down. to the ground. Trey Mason, the tailback in the eye. He'll get the carry behind the fullback and nothing doing. Not even close. A loss of one, at least. Deshaun Williams. Parkey to try to tie it. And Atlanta does. Perfect. 46 yards. Cody Parkey. 8.38 remaining third quarter. And see if receivers can make yards after the catch. Quick play fake. And now he does go deep. And he's got a man. And it's his tight end again, Brandon Ford. Ford's all the way down. Lead to the tight end. He runs him right into the safety. Now back to the ground. And Ellington straight up the middle, and he bounces his way for seven or eight more. Probably for both teams right here. And it's a full blitz. Boy breaks away, looking for a block, throws it sidearm, and completed it. And it's very, very close to. Now they spread him out. They may just try to get him to jump off sides. Three tight ends in there. They will run it. Ellington's got the first down. So the timeout and the gutsy call yep. pays off. Yep. Big third and 11. A blitz again. Boyd stands in. Fires. And that one's dropped as well. And that probably should have been caught by Brandon Ford. Catanzaro for the lead. And he gives Clemson the advantage back by three. And around coming from McCaleb on that fly sweep. Not Terry McCaleb into Clemson territory and out of the 41-yard line. Oh, he's to the left side. He'll go back to the ground to Trey Mason. Mason got a nice block. And quickly into the hole might be just a hair shy of the first down. Needed to get. Always have to keep your eye on number 43. Frazier loads, fires, Lutzen Kirkin to the 11. Another Auburn and nine. Movement. Frazier fires it to the back of the end zone to try to even it at 16. That's clean. Kick is good. Cody Parkey from 27 yards out. And so the ground, Sharon Peak, Martavis Bryant, those guys trying to pick up the slack from Sammy, not being here. There's Hopkins, and this one he does catch. And he broke a tackle. Remember, he had one 10 minutes left, and we're dead even at 16. Taj Boyd fires. Whoa, that is intercepted. Picked off by Darren Bates. Off the hands of Sam Cooper, the tight end. He just took it away from him. Well, the ball was thrown behind the tight end Cooper. Cooper was on an out route, and he was open. Second and short here. Again, Mason. First down and a lot more. Trey Mason. Cartwheels down to the 11-yard line. John looks over into the slot on the right side, and Quan Bray runs that way as well. As Frazier wants to throw a screen back the other way. Oh, almost picked up by Corey Crawford, and the big fellow would have been off to the right. have to be disciplined in rushing Kyle Frazier. Frazier to the end zone, and almost picked off in the back of the end zone. Sammy Coates was jersey number. They try to give Auburn the lead. Parkey has got another one right down the middle. Cody Parkey, 36 yard field. Now it's Taj Boyd. And Taj with his biggest run of the night. Boyd across midfield and out of the 45 yard line. That time faked it to Ellington. Yep. And in the second half. Boyd going to run for it. And Taj has got it inside the 30 down to the 29 yard line. Good to the drive. And the sophomore, Cole Stout, is in at quarterback. They give it off. Ellington. On the sweep, and Ellington's got a first down, and that'll be a big one for Clemson there. Didn't big look time. like he was going to have that much roof. At least that's what they hope. He's back in the lineup, though, and he goes straight ahead to Ellington. And again, tough run down to the nine. 
possession of the game. Only one touchdown. That was by Clemson earlier in the game. Todd Boyd in the pistol is going to throw it for Hopkins. Wow. Did he make the catch? Oh, man. Touchdown. What a catch. On the fade. New Hopkins fought off the interference and still made the catch. Chris Davis was in. Catanzaro in for the point after. And it's good. And now it's a four. This one they've got to have. Frazier. Flushed out of the pocket. Might try to get it with his own legs and does. Nice run. Had to dot. Third down and 11 they have to have. Lutzen Kirken coming back toward the football. High snap. Frazier pressured over the middle. Lutzen Kirken can't get to the first down marker. Did get five. Boy, heavy pressure from behind. Ran away from it. And now got a big, big first down. Wow. Just as many as he usually catches. Right. Again, it's third down. But this time, only a yard to go. And they get it. And some by Ellington. He's out to the 46-yard line. He said coming in, I'm healthy. I feel better than I ever have. And I'm ready to go. And boy, is he ready to go. Andre Ellington. And he might go again. All the way down inside the 10. Third and goal. Again, Taj Boyd kind of by his lonesome. And he'll keep the ball himself. And he is close to the goal line. Short, though. I love it. I, I just love that different. Oh, he just tucked it in the left upright. Sets up on the right hand side. Juan Bray in motion toward the football. Again, a three man rush. Frazier fires deep middle. Oh, what a catch! By Emory Blake. Wow. Frazier waits and waited too long. Beasley with a sack. That might do it. Might be the last play right here unless Auburn can come up with a miracle. Frazier firing deep. Nobody home except the Clemson defense. Xavier Brewer takes the ball with him out of bounds and Taj Boyd and the defending ACC champion Clemson Tigers survive the Auburn Tigers in Atlanta 26 to 19.